I'm having one of those days. Bringing in firewood. My back has been really sore after shoveling all that heavy snow. Uh, two days after I did that, I was really feeling it. Um, yesterday, I had some personal training to do online because that's my job. And that made it feel a bit better. Today, I'm feeling even better, but it's been uh, it's been really sore. So contributing to my general moodiness this morning. It's really um, but one of my chickens has prolapsed. The reason I was practicing my chicken handling skills the other day was because I noticed Edith had a little dingleberry that was stuck to her butt and I wanted to take it off. When I removed it, it was pretty hard, but I didn't think anything of it because I thought it might be frozen. And then I got distracted by, of course, the giddiness about, you know, getting more comfortable handling my birds. Well, this morning it was more than a dingleberry. She had pushed out something very strange and very hard. And when I removed it, I could see that she has prolapsed. I'm gonna show you what it looks like, um, but warning, if you are queasy, uh, please skip this part because it's really gross. So here it is, it looks very bony and I have no idea what this is. I sent a photo of it to the resident kind of bird guy in the area and he also had no clue what this could be. My only speculation is maybe some eggs that didn't grow properly that have calcified because this is like bone. Now I don't know if it's like WebMD where everything you Google you're dying but prolapse seems to be a pretty serious condition that is potentially life-threatening. It makes me really sad because Edith is the bird that survived the raccoon attack on the coop last year. Well, she's the one that got hurt in the attack and lived. Her whole back was torn up and I could literally see her spine. I nursed her back to health, keeping blue coat on the wound to keep the bugs out of it and miraculously it healed up. I have assumed that moving forward, she'll always be kind of a weaker, handicapped bird, but I really hope she doesn't die. Her back end is so messed up. And, you know, it's not like I'm gonna take her to the vet. She's a chicken, but she's struggling. It's not the first time I've seen her struggle with her back end since the injury. And I'm just hoping that she heals up like she has before, although it really wasn't this bad before. From what I've read, the biggest concern is the other birds pecking at the tissue and nobody seems to be bothering her. Everybody's leaving her alone. So again, all I can do is stay optimistic. I definitely have to get more calcium in their diet. When they're laying eggs, I crush up the shells and feed them back to them in their food, but they're not laying right now. So when I run my errands today, I'm gonna to see if I can pick up some bone meal or something that I can use as a supplement for the winter. So yeah, I'm having a bit of a cruddy morning, which happens from time to time, but I'm still shooting this video because I am doing my best to shoot short daily updates as much as I can. And this is all I'm gonna have time to do today. We did get the sprouts planted last night. We got the grow tent set up and that will be the next thing that I update you on when I have more time. But that's all for now. So until next time, happy healthy living. I'm Katie Kate on the homestead and I'll see you later.